Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. The Hulkster. <laughs> Little bit of a raw review. Okay. Wasn't a good show there, but it was better than last week, yeah. I guess. Um, it started off with Seth Rollins, Big Show, Kane, J and J Security. Um, yeah. You know, it was like playing a joke against Orton. They were pretending to hate each other or something uh, there. And, uh, Big Show almost crying and was just like not serious you know it doesn't feel like you're you know watching something serious it's just like goofy yeah. shit you know goofy bad guys or something yeah there. orton came out his promo was okay yeah. there but it just didn't work well with the goofiness wow. from the authority first match nikki bella defeated aj just a pointless piece of crap yeah. match. I would have had AJ winning there. Oh, really but, there? Uh, like making AJ lose for nothing there? With a sloppy fucking wrestler like her? Oh, like Nikki? She, she sucks, fuck. When they turn to give Divas a chance thing into a cheap gimmick for the Bellas. Give me a break, yeah, give they me a say break. there. Um, very like, yeah. crappy. Second match, Ryback just... You know, beat Miz, he squashed Miz in a minute or yeah. something. <laughs> Nothing good. Then you had the Cena Rusev uh, contract signing. You know, this was like Cena went overboard. Yeah. With the the, the overacting uh, crap there. I'm uh, American. <laughs> and it was like, oh. He fucked up the gimmick, fuck. Yeah. Even the USA gimmick, he can't even do that right, fuck. I don't know. And they took away Lando yeah. and replaced her with some job or the schmuck. Fuck, man. What, what are they thinking? Like taking away Lana, you know? She, they're like everything. a duo. You can't get rid of one, you know? It's like uh, Alberto Del Rio and yeah. his ring announcer. They took away the announcer. Del Rio didn't look yeah, as just cool. Look as good, you know? And it's going to be the same thing with Rusev. Yep. Hopefully they bring her back or whatever the fuck's going yeah, on. Yeah, because the guy ain't cutting it, man. Like he sucks. Third match: Tyson Kidd and Cesaro defeated the New Day in like two minutes. An uppercut oh, I... on the back and the one, two, three. There, <laughs> it was pretty dumb. Uh, yeah. Then we were supposed to have a match between Big Show and Eric Rowan. Big Show attacked him before the bell and beat him up. Um, so no match. <laughs> not sure what the fuck this was meant for there, but just a waste of time. Then we had like a promo skit for the Battle Royal. Uh, Mark Henry threw people over the top rope. Mm -hmm. and not a flying fuck was given, people. That's Mark Henry, people. Well, they got in three months. A two-minute push for this battle royal. Then you had Paul Heyman cutting a promo. Um, Roman Reigns comes out. Um, he talks to Heyman. He says he respects Heyman. Oh my God, he might become a Heyman guy. I'm so interested. Um, and then he says, let, let me turn and talk to your client. Then he turns to face the camera he starts talking and the fans start uh, screaming Daniel Bryan <laughs> and you can see he got pissed off these fans don't respect me or something like this there this guy yeah, sucks he sucks man. what an like, embarrassment this guy fucking talk can't do shit man like, the guy got owned by the fans there it looks retarded why would they push this guy when it's like this ah, man? this is a mistake like this is your future oh, like what a fuck. good start there WWE <laughs> before he even becomes champ and this is what it looks like come on fuck Fourth match, Ziggler, Brian, and Ambrose defeated Stardust, Barrett, and Luke Harper. Um, this was an okay match, best match of the well, night yeah, by default there. Um, but it wasn't much, but no. 
they did the cheap crap with the belt again, and then Barrett got his belt. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Bray Wyatt cut a promo, no taker, the no same taker. same promo he's done for the past two months, basically. Yeah, and that sucks, no taker, man. Like, what the fuck is this shit? Then they were supposed to do Orton and Rollin in the match, but then the authority came out because Seth fooled Orton or whatever there. But then Sting was in the ring with Orton, like the lights went out, came back on, Sting's yeah. there. Couple baseball bat shots and you know that was yeah, it that pretty was much. It. It was good to finally see Sting on TV there. Yeah, but actually doing something. But you know, usually I would have been marking out more or something, but the way it's been recently, it's hard to get into it. Yeah. But, you know, I like Sting since I'm a kid there, but... Yeah, but the build isn't, you know, there's missing something, fuck. Then there was a minute like interview of Sting, they cut off Raw. Oh, you want to see the interview? Go on, on, on the, the network. On the network. By the network. You know, it's like, oh, come on, there. Like, Why really? not have Sting talk on Raw? Yeah, there? it lasted a minute. For God's sakes, what kind of joke is that? You know, could it just talk real quick in the back or something, or you know, anything? Like me, I have the network there. I just put it on, but. You know, to force people to buy the network yeah. for a two-minute interview, that's just lame. You want to see Sting? You gotta buy him. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking lame. Raw sucked. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Better than Better last, than last week. Better than last week, but still, but I don't know. It still sucked. Just the Sting The part. mania built isn't... I don't know, fuck. You, you got a cool 30 seconds of Sting. The rest was all shit, fuck. Yeah. Until next time, peace!